It's a love story, ultimately. Yeah. Um, it's a love story between people, but uh, kind of a, corny as it sounds, it's kind of a love story to New York since I live there and love it. And right. so it was a, the idea was to make a movie that just jumped into New York. We just shot it on the street very quickly on film. And um, so lots of... Well, it's interesting you say it's a love story because it's not structured entirely in the way that you might expect a love story to be. Be. It's. I don't want to say too much because I don't want to spoil anything for people. But can you talk to that a bit? Like, because it isn't a traditional narr like love story narrative, is it? Yeah. Well, it's probably not a traditional anything no, in some yeah, ways. No, yeah. <laughs> um, well, it is a story about um, two people who have gone separate ways. I mean, the title means good luck to you. Go make something of yourself and let us know if you do. And don't bother if you oh, don't. Right. Yeah, well, it's, it means, you know, it's kind of an old Depression era phrase, right when you get work, like, call me if you get a job, basically. Right, okay. Yeah, and if you don't, good luck to you. Oh, okay. So, yeah. That makes so much sense now. <laughs> I've never heard that phrase before. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, it's kind of an old fashioned phrase, and it basically means goodbye, right. but it's kind of a challenge, like, goodbye and but Let's see what happens. But make something of yourself. <laughs> and that's sort of, of the idea of the film, isn't it? It, it is, yeah. And it's, um, well, it's both the, the, the structure of the film and the subject of the film, not to mention the way we made the film, is um, kind of real-time decision-making. Mm. Um, so, you oh, know, wow. the characters don't start out, you know, in a traditional heist, which there are a little bit of heist elements. Mm. There's sort of a plan at the beginning, and then you watch to see if the characters can pull it off. Where in this case, there's no plan at the beginning. It's just like, I have an idea, and that builds on an idea, and that builds on an idea, and let's hope it brings us somewhere. It did feel, when I was watching it, very much like like the, the, the main character was making things up on the go like he didn't he had an idea that he wanted to reunite with his with his former girlfriend but he didn't really know how he was going to do that so yeah that makes a lot of sense yeah jump first and start swimming later kind of yeah um, i want to ask about your lead actors um yeah because yeah, i thought they were they were fantastic oh, uh, yeah i really did no, they are fantastic. Yeah. Um, how did they? How did you cast them? How'd well, it started with Emily Mortimer, who was absolutely spectacular, and it was just very traditional casting. I work with a casting director I've worked with many times. We sent it to their reps, and um, she read it and liked it. We met and talked, and she did it, and I was like, "This is a meaningful moment." And then we built the rest of the cast around her. Really. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I mean, I was just thrilled with the cast because some of the actors were very experienced actors. Some had never been in a feature before, um, and so the combination kind of felt like New York to me, where everybody's in their own thing, but they're also together. So. The more you say it's a love letter to New York and that sort of organized chaos of <laughs> all those yeah. people m walking around each other, bumping into each other. Yeah, I really get that now. Oh, that's so bad. Um, what does it mean to show your film here in Manchester? Oh, wow. Well, first of all, it's the first time I've shown it in the UK. Oh, wow. And so I'm, I'm just very... Thank you for bringing it. <laughs> uh, thank you for inviting me. I mean, I'm crazy about the... I mean, I've, I've spent a lot of time in other parts of the UK, not in Manchester. I love it, and I was really looking forward to having an opportunity to show it here. Um, you know, there's always a lot of music in the movies that I've done and thinking about music and there's so much about music that for me comes from here right. so it's pretty exciting um, uh, and I guess you know there's also something about um, I guess rhythm is a lot of the way in which I approach a story and also shooting a movie and so even though even when the, mo the movie's not about music it feels very rhythmic to me I I, much as I've said a lot of this is on the go, the writing of it was not. It was very carefully controlled and every time I, every time I come back in the morning to work on a script I start on page one because I kind of have to just like play the whole song. Really? Oh, that's really yeah. interesting. <laughs> yeah. I mean I'm a fast writer but it, it always has to start from the beginning. Oh wow. Yeah.